Viking for Nagel's Gun Shop, and we're going to be talking a little bit today about the Christensen Arms CA-15. Uh, we're going to be doing some shooting with it and see how accurate we can be with it, and also have some fun with it up close a little later. Uh, and then also uh, we're going to be shooting the Hornaday ammo out of it. we got the uh, Hornaday Match 556. This has been a pretty popular uh, match load for 556 ammo. Uh, we've also got their Hornaday Tap 223, the 75 grain, the heavier bullet. Uh, we're going to try that out and see what it does. Uh, we also have some of the uh, 223 55 grain full metal jacket, some of our most popular you know, bulk ammo we can get. So I've uh, been pretty happy with that stuff. We did use it at the Delta Red class with the Nagel's crew and uh, worked flawlessly. Very happy with it. So. Uh, on the rifle itself, uh, we're pretty uh, impressed by this guy. It's got a match grade carbon fiber wrapped barrel. It's very lightweight, very stiff, uh, stays nice and rigid. Uh, it's also got a carbon fiber rail system, which has got two cool features to it. For one, it's very lightweight. For another, if you shoot this gun really fast and start getting things heated up, that carbon fiber rail does not transfer the heat to your hand like an aluminum rail does, so it stays a lot cooler. You don't need to wear gloves or have rail covers like on an aluminum rail. Uh, also, it's got a really good charging handle. That's the first thing I noticed when I picked it up uh, and felt it. Uh, it's the uh, Bravo Company uh, Gunfighter made by Voltor. Uh, I use that on my, you know, my personal rifle. I've been very happy with this Gunfighter charging handle. It makes using the gun a whole lot easier. That larger latch and tougher design. Uh, it's also got a nickel boron coated uh, bulk carrier group to reduce lubrication needs and increase service life. Uh, it's real smooth. Uh, that's a really nice feature they give you. It's got a really good trigger on it, nice and crisp, short reset. Uh, give you a really good stock uh, right out of the box. So uh, we're going to see what this guy can do today. Okay, so we're going to try shooting out of the CA-15 some Hornaday Match 556. This is their 75 grain bucktail hollow point. Uh, we're going to see what we can do with this at 100 yards. And uh, we got an ACOG so we can see the target real well. And a really nice rifle, so I expect good things. Exactly a competition winner, so that's pretty good results.
let's go check it out. Okay, so here we are. Uh, this is the Hornaday uh, ball ammunition we fired. Uh, they told us it was pretty accurate, and I'm pretty impressed with that for a 100-yard group. Uh, looks like it's uh, under an inch, probably just over three-quarters, you know, barely. Um, very impressed with that for the price of that ammo. It's really good shooting for it, and uh, Christensen did a real good job with that ammo. Uh, really a fan of that. Let me show you what the rifle didn't seem to like, though. There's quite a few groups we did with the half ammunition, and as you can see, we kept getting flyers with that. I don't know if it's just me shooting or if it's the ammo. Um, you know, obviously it's kind of odd that it's consistent with that ammo, though, which makes me kind of curious. Um, you know, it's still plenty good for hog hunting. I would say it's still good enough for pretty much any defense scenario you might end up in, and it does give you that really good bullet that you want in those situations. That being said, if you're, you know, trying to win an F-class match or something, probably not the ammunition you want to go with. Uh, so, you know, different roles. But uh, nonetheless, though, really good shooting from the gun, and really good shooting with that Hornet Day ammunition. So, I'm happy today. Okay, so uh, in conclusion, I just want to go over a few more points on this uh, CA-15. The main thing, of course, we were testing for today was accuracy. Uh, we wanted to make sure it lives up to their claims and try it with some good ammunition, you know, taking our time, see what we could do with it. Uh, of course, we're extremely happy with that. Uh, we weren't really trying for reliability that much today because we weren't putting that many rounds through it because we just did a tactical class and instruction course a few days ago and we put a ton of rounds through this thing. We were extremely happy with the reliability there. So. Uh, didn't really need to try that out today much. We're just going for accuracy because we couldn't do that at the class as much. Uh, and when it comes to accuracy, uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Thanks for watching and I uh, hope to see you next time.